Welcome to Anki Basics, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very first flashcards and your first deck. But if you don't know what Anki is, then click on the video right down below in the description or the video right around here or here. But if you already know what Anki is, then I'm not going to waste any more of your time, so let's jump right into it. So what I want you to do is open up Anki, and you're going to notice a default deck. Don't worry about that because we're going to be making our very own. And at the bottom of the screen, you will see a create deck button. Now, obviously click on that and it's going to give you an option to name it. I will just name it test one. And congratulations, you just made your first deck in Anki. Now it's time to add to it. Click on the add button on the top of the screen and it will open up to a tab where you can make your cards. This is the bread and butter of Anki and where you'll spend most of your time. On the top, you will see what type of flashcard you are making, like image occlusion, closed deletion, stuff like that. And don't worry, I will go in depth on each of those flashcards in later videos. You will also see what deck the flashcard is going in. So as you can see, we are adding our cards to the test one deck and being able to switch between decks on the fly really saves a lot of time. On the bottom of the screen, you will see a bar that is for tags now this is a way to organize your flashcards so you can study a very specific category of cards versus just having to use the whole deck so that's really helpful for me if i want to focus just on cardiology and not gi because gi is literally the most boring subject on the planet but have no fear i will go into depth on what tags are and how to use them correctly in later videos as you can see we're making basic flashcards so you will have a front and a back so just add what you want to memorize and congratulations you just made your first flashcard in Anki. Just above the front portion on the screen, you will see a bar with lots of options. Now this is basically a way to edit the text so you can bold different text, underline, highlight, all that good stuff. Now here's a quick tip for you. If you mess up a flashcard, just click the history button on the bottom of the screen and you will be able to quickly edit the flashcards. I use this feature all the time. Finally, all you have to do is click study now and you are good to go. You are now using one of the most powerful study tools ever made. When you click show answer, you will be given some options and click the button that best represents how you knew the flashcard. So if you thought the flashcard was hard, click hard. If you thought the flashcard was easy, click easy. It's pretty self-explanatory. The algorithm will space the cards that you know really well farther out versus the cards that you don't know. So just let the algorithm do its thing. Comment down below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. We are on our way to 200 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. Remember to study hard, study smart, and I'll see you guys next time.